Well, just the sort of weather the fans were hoping for this evening. It's absolutely ideal. I'm Derek Ray, and my commentary partner here on the gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham player, Stuart Robson. And with the start of the league season just days away now, we have action from the curtain raiser for you to enjoy. Stuart, what are your expectations for today? Well, Derek, this is the first trophy available in Italy, and it's between the winners of Serie A and the holders of the Coppa Italia. Both sides will be desperate to win this game today. It should be an absolute cracker. Well, it's always worthwhile tracking the progress of Lautaro Martinez. He can be highly influential. Stuart, what might we see from him? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Composure, technique and awareness. He will certainly need to be tightly marked today. The Inter starting lineup. Samir Handanovic begins in goal. Stefan de Frey plays with Milan Striniar in central defence. And Edin Dzeko starts alongside Lautaro Martinez. This is what they'll be up against today. Wojciech Genzi begins in goal. Giorgio Chiellini starts with Matthijs de Ligt in central defence. Artur starts alongside Denis Zakaria in the centre of midfield. And Morata is the main striker for this match. A move of promise on the flank. And Dzeko's in there. And nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. A oh, terrific pass. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. And the short option preferred. Artur. Quadrado. Artur. Chiesa, and Juan Cuadrado is in the middle. Really sound goalkeeping. Well, that had to be a goal, didn't it? What a stop that is. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Has someone to play it to. Opportunity, and that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. And responsible for the corner is Dybala. Not all that convincing defensively. Well, nearly shaving the crossbar with that powerful effort. Is that after 90 minutes they are level and extra time is coming up Federico Chiesa he cuts it back off the post and back in play and he clears the danger and just one minute of stoppage time say the officials and threading it forward and he did so well to move across and deal with the danger and now a corner, can they take advantage of it? Locked together then, these two sides, and on we go now to penalty kicks. Well, the penalty shootout about to commence, and as a player, clinical as always, in front of goal. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. And he steps up to take his penalty. 
And the penalty converted here. Such high levels of pressure. He must score to keep his side in it. Now it's over, and the celebrations can begin. Well, they probably just about deserved it, didn't they? Overall, they were the best team. Scenes of jubilation here. They'll be hoping for bigger and better in the near future, but they're certainly going to enjoy this moment for now. Well, winning becomes a habit, and I think they showed a lot of character here today. They're a tough team to beat, that's for sure. First piece of silverware, and that is never to be sniffed at as the players applaud the fans who have been backing them today. Well, they came here to win it, and that's exactly what they've done. And it's another trophy. Now for the trophy lift. And I've spoken to a number of hardened pros down the years about this, Stuart. They've all said, don't take this for granted. Savour these moments. Well, you're absolutely right, Derek. This is a lovely moment for everybody at the club, fans included. They've certainly played their part, as you mentioned. And now the players posing for the images that will be sent around the world. And they'll certainly enjoy these moments. And then it's back to business straight away. But well played to them. They deserved it today.